how can you give dawah to a Christian and prove to him that the, the term tawheed or the oneness of Allah, as I understand it, um, is the correct way for him or her to follow? As I said, we have to use the master key. Sulaim Imran, chapter 3, verse 64. Ta'alu ila kalmitin sawa im bayanu bayanukum. Come to common terms as bin us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When I will meet a Christian, I'll tell him that Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe that he was the Messiah translated to Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention. We believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. The Muslim and the Christian, we are going together. But one may ask, where is the parting of ways? The parting of ways is that most of the Christians, they believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was Almighty God and he claimed divinity. In fact, if you read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or why he says worship me. I would like to repeat, there is not a single unequivocal statement, not a single unambiguous statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or why he says worship me. In fact, if you read the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I cast out devils with the Spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20, I with the finger of God cast out devils. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my Father. Anyone who says I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God, he's a Muslim. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, according to the Bible, was a Muslim. And further mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22. Ye men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you, by wonders and miracles which God did by him, and you are witness to it. A man approved of God by wonders and miracles and signs which God did by him and you are witness to it. And when Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was asked, it's mentioned in the Gospel of Mark, chapter number 12, verse number 29, when he was asked that which is the first of the commandments, he repeated verbatim what was said earlier by Moses, peace be upon him, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 6, verse number 4, and he says, Shema Israelo, Adnil Hainu Adnil Hainu Israel, the Lord, our God, is one Lord. 